Hey, and welcome to the latest episode of Don Bennett's Drum Vault. Today, I'm standing in what used to be the location of my old store, Don Bennett Drum Studio, which is now West Coast Drums, which used to be Rudy's Drum Shop, and then before that it was Don Bennett Drum Studio, which has caused all kinds of confusion. So let me try and give you the quick 60 second history of this shop. I started here in 1996. I opened this originally as a drum school, which evolved into a drum store. I ran there from 1996 till about 2012, at which point I sold it to our original manager, Rudy Simone. Now, Rudy ran it until about a year ago as Don Bennett Drum Studio. Then he decided to move the store, at which time he changed the name from Don Bennett Drum Studio to Rudy's Drum Shop. At the same time, Chris Hankins and Chase Culp, Chris the ex-manager here, and Chase, one of the top teachers, decided to open a new shop in the old space, which is called West Coast Drum Shop. The guys at West Coast Drum Shop invited me to come back and put up a display of my collection of drums, as well as a little uh, museum, I guess if you want to call it, of some Don Bennett Drum Studio memorabilia, which exists here in what was my office when it was Don Bennett Drum Studio. Did I succeed in confusing you? I hope so. Anyway, I hope you got the point. Let's take a minute and, uh, and see the display. So here is Don's Drum Vault at West Coast Drum Shop, which is a little display of some of the collector drums that uh, I now deal in. So when I ran Don Bennett Drum Studio here, a big part of what I did and we did here was I had a lot of celebrity drums. When I sold the shop, I started to really focus on celebrity drums, um, really mainly because that was the part of this job that I liked the best. And uh, it was fun to do and it continues to. So I really started to focus on that. And I was really happy when the guys at West Coast asked me if I would bring a display of my stuff to uh, put here uh, where you all could see it. Um, it really is a shame to have this stuff uh, just sitting in cases in my warehouse. So it's, uh, it's really exciting for me to be able to share this stuff. So, you know, you come in here on any given day, you never know what you're going to find because I do kind of cycle this stuff in and out. But uh, as an example, we got a whole ton of snares over here. I mean, really from some of Rock's Elite, Rod Stewart, Aerosmith, The Beatles, The Stones, The Who. That's some heavy hitters. Elvin, Georgia Satellites, Shadows Fall, Slade, Kenny Aronoff, Cheap Trick. That's just what's here today. This stuff is coming and going all the time. But I've got uh, a whole collection of Elvin Jones items, uh, some, some of his sticks, some of his mallets, a presentation symbol that Zildjian gave him on his 70th birthday, another one from his 75th birthday. We've got a whole collection over here of Neil Peart items from Sign Time Machine Snare, Sign Time Machine Head, Sticks. I've got these items from the Blue Man Group from when they played the Super Bowl in 2011. A whole collection of things from the Seahawks Blue Thunder drum line. A whole bunch of Hal Blaine's gear. The case from the Notorious set number one. There's a whole story behind that one. And then there's a whole collection of Ringo Starr items. And then we've got a whole collection of some memorabilia from Don Bennett Drum Studio when it was here. And so really that's what's just in this room. Out on the showroom floor, we have like a revolving door of drum sets used by some of the greatest drummers of all time. Out there right now is a Quiet Riot set that belonged to Frankie Benali, Hal Blaine's drum set, one of Zach Starkey's The Who drum sets, uh, a set that was made for Ringo, 
Aerosmith set. It's really uh, a constantly changing uh, display of stuff out there. Well, thank you once again for staying with me and walking through another episode of Don Bennett's Drum Vault. If you would like to come see any of this stuff in person, it all resides here at West Coast Drum Shop in Bellevue, Washington. Or you can go look at it on my website at donbennett.com. So until our next episode, thank you very much, and we will see you very soon.